Hi everyone, Ryan here from Foxtech. Today, I'm going to show you how to clean up your iPhone's cache. Now, unlike Android devices, iPhones don't have a dedicated clear cache button for individual apps. There are only workarounds to achieve a similar result. But don't worry, I'll walk you through some practical methods to help keep your iPhone running smoothly. Let's start with Safari. This one's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is open the Settings app on your iPhone, tap Safari, and then select Clear History and Website Data. This will remove all cache data from Safari, helping to free up space and refresh the app. For other individual apps like Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp, the process is a bit more tedious. Unfortunately, iPhones don't let you clear cache for each app with a simple button. Instead, you'll need to delete and reinstall the app to clear its cache. Not the most convenient method, but it works if an app is taking up too much space and slowing things down. Some apps, though, do give you the option to clear their cache within the app itself. This depends on the app, so it's worth checking the settings of apps like Twitter or Spotify to see if they support this feature. If they do, you'll be able to clear their cached data directly from the app's settings. Another trick to clear temporary system cache files is to restart your iPhone. When you restart the phone, it automatically clears some temporary cache files. While this won't touch your app caches, it can still help improve performance overall. Finally, for general storage management, go to Settings, then General, and tap on iPhone Storage. Here, you can see which apps are using the most space. For apps that are taking up a lot of storage but you don't want to delete, you can select Offload App. This clears the app's cache but keeps your data intact, making it a handy option if you're short on space. And that's it for this quick guide on cleaning up your iPhone's cache. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more iPhone tips. See you later.